about the original temperature and the current temperature of an object. Okay, so Newton's law of cooling is shown down here at the bottom. That was taken directly out of your book. T of T, or the temperature of something after T minutes, is equal to T of A, which is the original, or excuse me, the temperature of the environment it's brought into, plus T naught, which is the original temperature of the food, minus T sub A, which again is the temperature of the environment it is brought into, equals E to the negative K, that's our rate of cooling, times the amount of time that has passed. Okay, so lots of variables here. You just want to be careful to write down what you have and look for what's missing. We're given an example up here. Take some of those arrows off. We're given an example at the top of the page. A dish of lasagna baked at 350 degrees. We're going to say that that is the initial temperature of the lasagna is 350 degrees, so that's our T naught, is taken out of the oven into a kitchen that is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It enters the kitchen, that's its new environment, so that's our T sub A. After 15 minutes, here's our time, its temperature has fallen to 200 degrees. So in this case, they've given us pretty much everything except for our rate of cooling. This 200 degrees is our T of T, or the temperature after 15 minutes. Using Newton's Law of Cooling, let's answer some of these questions. Um, part A, use Newton's Law of Cooling to write an expression for the temperature T, after, or temperature capital T, after time lowercase t. Well, before we can do that, we need to know what our K is, or our rate of cooling. So in order to find that, we're going to put all of the values that we know into our formula and go from there. And um, these came out a little close together, so I'm probably going to have to clear slides between parts A, B, and C, just so you know ahead of time. I'm going to write down what I know from the formula. I know the temperature now is 200. I know that the temperature of the environment, I'm just going with our formula down here. So we have equals. The temperature of the environment around it is 70 degrees, plus our original temperature, which is 350, minus the temperature of the environment, 70, times e to the negative k. I do not know, but the time was 15 minutes for that to take place. So this is what I know. Let's do some simplifying, if we can. Um, so right now, I have 200 is equal to 70 plus, let's go ahead, we know the 350 and the 70 in parentheses, so let's just go ahead and subtract those. Okay, 350 minus 70 gives me 280. E to the negative k times 15. Now, I'm trying to solve for k, so I need to isolate whatever this exponential part here, e to the negative k times 15. So to do that, I'm moving everything else to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 70, and I get 130 is equal to 280, e to the negative k times 15. I still don't have it isolated because it's being multiplied by 280, so I'm going to divide both sides by 280. This is going to give me a decimal number, which you can go ahead and write down. Um, again, it's safer to just leave the number in your calculator. The less rounding, the better. But you should get about 0.46429. Okay. Now we still haven't solved for k. We got to keep going. Notice k again stuck up there in that exponent. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the log of both sides, because the opposite of exponential is logarithm. Natural log of e is 1, so that goes ahead and cancels for us. And now we have the natural log of 0.46429 is equal to negative k times 15. Let's just divide both sides by negative and 15, and we'll have just k left. Again, be very careful. Oops. 
I get about 0 0.05115. And again, I didn't do any rounding here um, initially. So if you're off by just a bit, it's probably because we rounded to different decimal places. Well, now I can actually answer part A because I know what K is. I can go ahead and write down a generic formula for this situation. The temperature of, an ob of this lasagna after times T is going to be equal to the temperature of the environment, 70, plus the original temperature was 350 minus the 70 gives us 280 here. E to the negative 0 0.05115, it's what I found for the rate, times the time T. And now we have a very specific formula for this situation. All we have to know is the amount of time, and we can find the temperature. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clear this slide so that I have room to do parts B and D. So if you need to write anything down, you might want to pause here. I am going to put back in here that formula we just found because we're going to be using it. Okay, so part C says, C, excuse me, B says, what will the temperature of the lasagna be after 30 minutes? So we're going to put T in for 30 and find the temperature of our lasagna. Okay, so we have 70 plus 280 e to the negative 0 0.05115, time is 30 minutes. We have to use order of operations as we simplify this. So first we need to know what that exponent is. So do the 0 0.05115 times 30. And we get negative, or I get at least, <laughs> negative 1.533. Next, we do exponential, so e to the negative 1.533. I get about 0.215887. And again, less rounding, the better. So again, I just left that whole number in my calculator, that entire number in my calculator. Multiplication comes next in our order of operations, so we multiply that by 280, which gives about 60.35, and we add the 70. And we find that after 30 minutes, the temperature of lasagna is going to be 130.35 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to round that off. Okay, so we took our formula we found in part A, substituted the amount of time, 30, and found the temperature. Again, I'm going to clear the slides, so if you need to take notes, you might want to pause here to take your notes. I'm going to put my formula back up here, <laughs> the only hard part. Okay, look over part C. What are we going to need to do for part C? It says, after how many minutes will the lasagna be 100 degrees Fahrenheit? So this time, we have to find T. How many minutes is what they want to know. And we know the ending temperature is 100. So we know this T of T is 100. We're solving to find T. So we have 100 is equal to 70 plus 280 e to the negative 0.5115 T. Oh, excuse me, 0. 0.0. Pretty important number there. And we're going to solve from there. So again, we have to isolate the exponential part. So we're going to subtract 70 from both sides. 
we get 30 equals 280e to the negative 0 0.05115t. Um, still not isolated. We're going to have to divide both sides by 280. Which again, is going to give you a decimal. It's about 0 0.107. Now we're saying, how do we get that t down here? We take the natural log of both sides. Natural log of e is 1. I'm going to come over here to finish her up. All I have left to do, I have the natural log of 0.107 equals negative 0 0.05115t. All I have to do is divide both sides by 0 0.05115, negative, excuse me, and I'm done. And again, I didn't do any rounding here. I just left numbers in my calculator. So if you're off a bit for me, don't worry a whole lot. It's probably just a rounding error. If you are very close to this number, you should get about 43.7 minutes. After 44 approximately minutes, the lasagna would be 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So there is an example of using Newton's law of cooling.